Four lies. Hey, what's going on, guys? Body bags. Uh, Andrew here. Uh, I'm back at you with another video. Uh, week. This is week what 172, I believe. Um, and this week it's uh, finals week for me here at college. So I figured. Um, I was looking around. I was gonna do another uh, movie, but I figured, ah, what the hell? This is actually one of my personal favorite um, '80s films, um, and I figured I might as well do it today. And that is uh, Final Exam from 1981. It was uh, written and directed by Jimmy Houston, and um, it basically is just a story of um, it's basically a killer killing people on Finals Week. Um, you can tell it's kind of later on in Finals Week because most of the people are kind of heading out. So it's it's a movie that I watch at least once or twice every single Finals Week. Um, actually, I, I got through it four times in one Finals Week before. Um, but yeah, this is I actually just upgraded this and just watched it on um, Blu-ray because uh, I had the DVD of it that I gave to my brother. Uh, the Scorpion DVD, and this is a Screen Factory Blu-ray, um, which this Blu-ray looks incredible. It's it's personally one of my favorite uh, transfers uh, from Screen Factory. Highly recommended. It. It's like 15 bucks on Amazon, so it's well worth it. Um, but basically, it's people killed on. Uh, there's really no point to the killings. Um, that's actually a theme throughout the movie. Um, you're kind of introduced to a random killing by the killer at the beginning of the movie, as pretty much every slasher movie, there's a kill at the beginning. And then um, it skips to Lanier College, which was, I think, I can't remember, the Ye Limestone College is, I think, the col the actual college name. It's in, like, North Carolina, I think. Um, a lot of the students are really big fans of this movie because of that. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a... Um, it, it basically, um, there's a kill there at the beginning, and then there's actually not another kill until like 55 minutes later into the film. Um, it, it, it is definitely a character-based film. Um, there's not a lot of character development. Um, you just spend a lot of time with the characters. Um, so that, that kind of, um, that makes this more of a unique slasher. So this this definitely, like, if you don't like the characters in this movie or you don't find them enjoyable, you're not going to like this film. Um, but for me, I absolutely love the characters in this film. Pretty much every one of them is just likable and entertaining. They're fun to be around. So when they get killed off, I really don't, I really, I really liked all of them. I didn't want any of them to die. Um, so this is like one of my personal favorites because of this. It's one of the more like tame slashers, so if you're looking for a lot of gore and stuff, you're not going to get that here. There's no creative kills. Um, oh, actually there is a couple creative kills in here. Um, but if you're looking for like gore, this one's not for you. Um, this is one that just, it's your basic slasher though. It takes place on a college campus, so it's kind of a cool one for me for that reason. Um, but yeah, it's it's a super good time. It's not for everybody because even I've I've been talking on the body bags page and on the twenty two shots page, and um, people people really don't seem to like this film. It's it's one of those ones where people either really like it or they they just think it's kind of boring because I mean it literally it takes an hour for another kill to happen in this movie, and they all happen within like fifteen twenty minutes of each other. Um, but honestly, for that, I really like this film. Um, I really like all the characters. I would highly recommend watching this if you haven't yet. It's definitely one of the forgotten 80s slashers. And this is an 81 movie, which 81 was possibly the best year of horror ever. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this. My personal rating for this movie is a 9 out of 10. It is... Um, it works in pretty much every single way. The only, the only reason that I give it a 9 is because, like, um, the... There's not a, um, I, I would say that it's, it's not, um, the, just maybe the gore. I mean, it just, like, it's some of the things that, like, he couldn't have controlled. But honestly, this movie was made for 300000 and for what it did, it was shot really well, um, and it just, it just all around did a good job. So, that's going to be my review for this week. Um, hopefully, probably have a more Christmas horror movie for next week because next week's going to be the Chris Christmas week so um, or the week of Christmas should I say so um, thanks for tuning in guys um, I'll see you again next week hopefully you enjoyed this please just let me know what you think about it down below and uh, have a great week guys peace